on today's video i'll be showing us how to use Brixato for our logo vectorization okay and this is what i'll be covering on this video tutorial but um we may not be able to cover the whole aspect of logo vectorization using Brixato on this particular video but i'll be covering the introductory uh, introductory aspect of the how to use Brixato for vectorization and then explaining each and every tool that you can find on your Brixato tool on pixel lab okay this is what i'll be covering on this video okay so let's get there before we proceed don't forget to subscribe with us here on youtube your subscription like and comments will go a long way to help thank you first of all we are going to click and open our brace up tool here make sure that your shape tool is selected and then select your brace up tool and then when we do that we're going to open it up and see this this is the first thing we need to see right uh-huh and then the next thing we need to we are going to start from the first top tool there that you are seeing on the top here so this is where we are going to start explaining the interface of a breeze out tool or whatever you're going to call it okay first we are going to have this plus sign we are having here and we are going to have this next arrow and then we are going to have this and then the copy aspect of it and this and then this last one then we are going to be talking about them the plus icon that you are seeing there is to add more lines if you are clicking on the plus uh, plus icon there you are adding more lines more of these lines you just like copying okay but i will call it a duplicate instead okay i will show you why it's different from copying when you're copying something you are actually making a copy if you have actually created a lot of things using these lines like created a shape using these lines and then you are clicking on the plus icon is going to give you the original shape that is this line that you have actually created in the initial at the initial but if you are creating a copy it's going to give you a copy of what you have actually marked at the end of the day so now when we click on this minus icon here what is going to give us is that it's going to keep on re removing it until it give us one single line okay now when we click on this okay on this next and preview what it's going to do is for us is that it's going to um move our details okay move our interest from the first to the last from the first to the last if to say we have like three now if i clicking on this it's going to move it like this from the next 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 to the preview okay so that is what the function is actually does like this right left-handed one is going to give us the next or or the preview or the other one is going to give us the next take us to the next next lines okay that we have created okay then the 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 this the what we are going to have here is it's going to show us the number of lines we have actually created on this our workspace okay if to say i i created like more four you see it's writing four there okay it's going to show us the number of lines we have created on our workspace okay and then the the next thing we need to talk about is the copy icon here or the copy icon we are seeing here when you click on copy it's going to end up copying the work you actually done okay as you are seeing it like this now if i click on plus it's, it's a different thing but if i click on copy it's copying the work we have done using these curves that we have actually brought on the screen okay um let me remove it and then say i think uh, we have covered this aspect of this top um whatever we have here okay then the next thing we need to talk about is the breakdown mode i think this is my first time having a time to be able to talk about these things but i hope um this video is actually going to give us a more light on this particular breakdown tool or whatever you're going to call it okay on this breakdown tool sorry about that on this breakdown tool we are going to be breakdown mode we are going to be having three more icons here we are going to be seeing okay now we are going to start with this last one <laughs> okay this last one and then we are going to go to this and then this i'll be explaining what they actually use for okay the last one um this is this one um e e i call it a positioning tool okay the reason why i call it a positioning tool is because if i select it the next thing is going to do for me is if i begin to i'll just be able to move these lines on my screen to any part of this screen i actually want to position it into okay it is the that is the function of this positioning tool and if i select the next one 
which is um what i call it is a um, transpositioning tool see what it's going to do for me if i select it like this then what it's going to do for me is going to bring out a line from these details that that these two details that is in this um curves or this line arc i've created Okay, if I click on this, it's going to bring out this line. If I click here, it's going to bring out this. Then with this, I can be able to reposition this arc, transform it as much as I want. So I call it a transposition tool or transformation tool. Okay, and then I call this position tool because it's going to help me reposition this arc I've created using this um, break that tool. So now this is the position tool and this is transformation or transformation tool. Okay, the next one here is... Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it. <laughs> uh, you know, one funny thing about Pixel Lab is that um, most of the tools in Pixel Lab doesn't have a name, so you end up giving it a name in order to be able to simplify it for yourself. Okay, but what is the function of this one is if I select it, if I'm clicking, I'm adding more more lines joining together. Okay, I'm adding more lines joining together, and then um, I think uh, that is the function. <laughs> but you know, in most cases, I don't like using it. Seriously, I don't like using it. So, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to select this center one. That is uh, the transformation tool. Make sure it's selected. And then, um, I'm going to remove this, please. And then, the next thing we need to talk about is to go to the action tool. And then, this is where we have a little work to do. Okay, in the, on the action tool, we have a kind of, a kind of similarity. A similarity tools like this. And this, they actually perform a kind of similar functions, but I'm going to explain them very differently now. Okay, on the action tool, we have like four tools we have here. Okay, and then these four tools, their function is this. This first one from the the, the right hand side is um rotating tool. If you are already good at all this um using this software, you know that this is the shape the shape of rotating tool. Okay, if I select it, um, I can be able to rotate this to any point, to any angle I actually want to. Okay, and then, and that's the function. Um, I think uh, we have got it wrong. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, and then, when we select, um, okay, when we select this second one is, um, yeah is for zooming in out to make it more bigger or more smaller i think that's the function there and then if we are selecting this third one what is the function of that one if you actually want to use create a closed loop of this act on your screen now what you need to do is just to select this and you will just create a closed loop and you know one thing i always like to create the closed loop anytime i want to do any vectorization because it actually gives me a perfect sketching unless i want to create a straight line that's the only time i'm going to use this straight line like this or just use this curve or the arc and then make it a straight line okay if i want to create something that is circular like just like my my brand logo now or something like my brand logo so i need to use something that um, is a closed loop so when i select it see what it's going to give me it's going to make this line become a loop or a, a kind of circle okay now the last when we select it the, what it's going to do for us is that it's going to create another extra um point or actions okay another action inside this under this action tool okay and then if you didn't notice it um this is the tool is going to bring out for us okay and what is actually does for us is that you are going to use it to add more points inside this loop okay and then we're going to add more points inside this loop and then if we want to remove this point don't forget that the last two we have here is for that function of removing these points okay and then we can go ahead and remove the points and then we have it so um i think uh, we have actually covered a lot of discussing this to briefly and it's very easier to understand right and then um we're going to go back to them and explain them later okay the next thing we need to see is opacity i don't i think this one is no more difficult to understand it's just to add colors i think uh, the color now is actually white that's why if i, I increase the opacity uh, you are going to be 
not seeing my logos my brand logo anymore okay or not see my logo again if i go down here i'm going to change the fill color into something that i prefer the most okay but see what i'm going to do i'm going to turn it off okay so that at least we're going to be having a clear view of what we are working on and then if we go down a little more we are going to see um stroke that is the stroke stroke color and then here okay i think this is for the color okay and then if we are go down we are, we are going to see stroke width and here we are going to increase the size of the stroke or decrease the size of the stroke but i always like to keep it like two or three very beautiful then here we are going to have more three tools under um stroke here okay and then what they actually do for us is that um all these points if we end up creating a, a curve or a circular stuff on our screen mass a vectorization on our screen and then if there are some points that are so sharp that we want to be sharp want to be curved so this is what we actually use to do them if we are selecting this that means to say we want to have a very sharp curve a very sharp curve okay then if you increase your stroke you are going to give that effect on your on your vector or what you actually vectorize okay now we are going to be having the opacity okay this is the opacity of the stroke and then and then this is the color of the stroke i think yeah this is the color of the stroke you can change the color here and then after that i think this is the end of all the things see what i always do let's go back again and explain all these things vividly before we call off this video now we have talked about the top one two three four five six i think six or seven tools that we have at the top screen here that we have actually explained them that what the function they actually use for we say that the plus and minus icon um is for adding more of this okay and then if you say that uh, adding more of the lines i think we have said that before and then that is the initial line that actually draw on your screen okay and then the 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 next or preview is to move your details or your 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 arc or to move your interest from one of the the lines or arc you have actually created to the next one okay and we have said that this number here is actually showing you the number of lines you have drawn on your screen in case you forgot and then we are saying that the 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 last center tool here is for the copy that is when you want to make a copy let's see okay when you want to make a copy of what you actually vectorized then you are going to use this then this is what we actually discussed and then we actually go down to the breakout tool and we say that we have three modes our breakout mode we have three modes and this is for the positioning and this is for the transport trans transposition or transformation or tool and we say that this um is for adding um if to say you have a straight line okay or straight out arc or just a curve then you are going to use this to add more point until you end up joining them together okay and then we have action tool under action under actions we have um transformation or or put or um um what is it called going to call it now or rotating tool yeah <clears throat> and then after rotating tool we have going to have this one um the sizing to making it more bigger or more smaller okay and then that's the function and then we are we are talking we have talked about this if you want to close the loop we select this if we don't want to close the loop we just select it again and if you are selecting the closed loop like this then we are going to have more extra point actions that is um this this two we are going to have here is going to help us to add more points add more points to um our our arc or our our curve or whatever you're going to call it and then the last one here okay the last one here is to remove remove these points that we actually created and then we have your opacity and then um we have the fill color you can actually change them anytime you want and we have the stroke you can increase or decrease as but i say i always like to keep it at two or three maximum okay so that my work more easier for me anytime i'm vectorizing and then we have the 
opacity of your stroke and then that's all we have to see on Brexit too. So don't don't always underestimate what you can do with your pixel app it is more than a, an editing app is a designing it can be a designing app for you so um on our next video we are going to be talking about how we can actually um do some vectorization a simple vectorization using this um breaks out to on pixel app so see you on my next video on part two of this video let's see and then discuss how we can actually use these things i've been discussing here to be able to create a perfect um illustration or vectorization on pixel app so see you then